Hello everyone and welcome to Making the Death Star for Kerbal Space Program or attempting to at least as a way of celebrating May the 4th. I did this during a Twitch live stream. I started in Blender and took it all the way to Kerbal Space Program at least as far as I could and we'll see exactly how far I got with that part of it. But here first is the blendering of it. And altogether the process took five hours but there were a lot of stops and starts as I changed my mind about how to do certain things. Here we are putting in the all important trench and I wanted to make sure that it was wide enough for fighters to go down. We're doing this at 1 100th scale because in Kerbal Space Program, the render range is 2.25 kilometers. So the real thing, well, the first one, first Death Star was 120 kilometers and then the second one was 160. I decided to go with 1.6 kilometers in diameter. And so I put the little carve out for the laser and then I selected those faces and we are going to generate the plates on it. I have a little plating generator plugin, and so I used that to simplify things, and so that's what's going on here. And then we also have to adjust our camera view because otherwise we get this clipping because the thing is so big, and so I needed to adjust the numbers to make sure that we could see it properly, and then adjust the shading, the materials on things so that we could see it a little bit better as well. So there we have it, we have some plating, that's good. But of course we have a lot of other details to work out. First of all, I realized that my cutout didn't really have the, the lines on it in the way that I wanted. I want to make sure that the polygons are in this orientation that you can see here for the sake of making the laser. And having it in this orientation, we can inset and then extrude it in order to get some more definition on that, as you can see. This isn't meant to be a full tutorial video or anything like that. This is just a quick process video. I wanted to turn the outer ring uh, so it's staggered. That's how the real thing apparently is, at least in diagrams. But that left a little gap in the mesh, so I decided not to do that. Uh, I created little greebles that we were going to add to uh, the trench in particular, most importantly. But I was hoping to put it in all the plated parts to create the little cities that are on the surface of the Death Star. Apparently, there were more than a million people on the Death Star. So, yeah, apparently I had some cities. So, anyway, I just created a few greebles like that, and I decided to separate off where I wanted the cities to be, leaving some gaps. But, as it turns out, looking at the images once again, I probably should have made the little city areas a little bit smaller and created more gaps between them. I think the images seem to bear that out. But anyway, I created northern hemispheres, cities, and southern ones so that I ultimately used textures for them. We wouldn't use too much texture space and they would have better quality, though maybe I should even up that more than I have. Now, in order to make the little greebles on the center trench, I use these geometry nodes, but uh, this is the first time I'm using geometry nodes like this. Well, or at all, because generally I don't like adding too much geometry to things. Uh, this is just one of those times where I'm dealing with something that's 1.6 kilometers in diameter, so I need a lot more stuff. Uh, so anyway, I uh, added that geometry there. I wanted cutouts for the hangers, and we have the hangers on the central line. I decided that that was easiest. And so here go the hangers. And I needed to make sure that they would fit a Millennium Falcon, even though we are scaled down by a factor of 100, right? So the, the hangers are looking a lot bigger than they would on the real Death Star, but because we're scaled down by 100, I wanted to make sure that even with the scaled down version, uh, we could get some ships in. So I finish up the little hangers like that. And that's how they look. Very simple right now. I'm not trying to make them complicated. I put the reactor core down the center and this is just a simple cylinder being extruded and then having little rings added to it for further details. And so like that. And you can see the position of the laser on the side there. We are going to have a sort of core sphere that seems to be what it is in the diagrams and that sphere goes out to the laser. So I add these other rings, add some beveling, add the sphere to it, and then make sure that one of the poles is actually pointing at the laser, and so we can just extrude the pole out to the laser to make that portion, and then we'll have some fiddly bits on that. 
but you know, that's not quite right, but close. Anyway, actually, uh, when making the Death Star itself, maybe I should have actually had the pull at the laser point, but then that causes problems for the equatorial trench. So, uh, yeah, one way or another, you're going to have some problem uh, with modeling it. But anyway, just adding some details here. I don't know exactly how it's supposed to look. I just saw some vague diagrams on Google. And now uh, that was all sped up. That's why I didn't have the music going. Now we have the music going because this will be in real time. This is just me UV unwrapping things, me bringing things into Substance Painter. And this is sort of a judgment call. It's not like I have an official Death Star material or anything. So I tried to get some materials that would work as best I could. Figured some sort of lights would be good, like uh, building lights and stuff like that, and modify a little bit, add some pipes around the place. The metal texture that they have on the Death Star is very dull. I mean, it's sort of somewhere between metal and concrete. It's a little bit weird. So I have to try and get it to catch the light in just that way. And in the Substance Painter, it's not looking quite right, but once we get into Kerbal Space Program with that lighting, it might look quite different. So anyway, added textures to the interior stuff and to the laser. And again, all this should be adjusted after we bring it into Kerbal Space Program to see what the colors really look like there with the planet shine and all that business. A lot of times you see Death Star with the blue planet shine on it. So here's what it looks like in Unity as I get ready. And yeah, I think the city areas need more definition, need to be split apart more. And so I will reconsider that. But for now, this is how it is. And this is the configuration file for Kerbal Space Program. Super simple, really, because, well, right now there's not a whole lot going on with the Death Star. So I brought, bring it in and it opens, though it freezes the program for quite a while. Uh, but you can see the pro we're inside the Death Star here. If <laughs> we're inside the Death Star, in fact, inside the reactor probably, but there's no normal spacing us in this direction. You can see one of the hangars in front of us and some of the fiddly bits, the greebles. And when I bring it outside, well, you can probably guess what's gonna happen. Right, so um, bringing outside as a part isn't a great idea. I, I try my best uh, to do something with it. But, you know, first it says collided into the VAB and I checked that I had indestructible facilities on, of course. And yes, I do. Uh, it wasn't the VAB that blew up, so I decided to try no craft crash damage, but it's not really crashing. Um, it's sort of colliding in a diff different way, I suppose. It did this next time. And now do I have to do no heat damage? Well, it's sort of spinning out of control, but as long as we can sort of manifest it, we could quickly tell it to set orbit using the cheats, right? Another time it splashed down somehow. But yeah, it's sort of random exactly what it does. Fortunately, I turned it into a Kerbal Constructs thing. So this is technique number two. Technique number three is to turn it into a moon, ironically. Uh, but that has its own limitations. We can't have some of the high definition things going on on the surface. Uh, the greebles don't work quite the same way. We have to have a height map. It's a totally different thing to create a moon. So anyway, here I am dragging it up uh, in Kerbal Constructs and we're just seeing what we can get away with with Kerbal Space Program here. I mean, after all, if you could do this, you could make like a space elevator or something potentially, right? There's all sorts of things that could happen if you could do stuff like this. But, uh, well, spoilers, you can't exactly do stuff like this. I scale it up to a hundred times, so it's the full Death Star size. Uh, you can see that uh, you just use the model scale in Kerbal Constructs, try to set it up high here at 400 kilometers above the surface. And when I saved and closed, well, it all went black, but that was actually because we, uh, it sort of brought us back to the dead craft state that I started out with after the previous explosion of Death Star. So we have to launch something to go up to it. This was a warp drive test ship. I have in this, this is an interstellar install. And the Death Star is there. The Death Star is there. So we have uh, an achievement. Uh, so Kerbal Constructs working right now. And so I'm very excited bringing my rocket up there. And I 
turn off the UI to highlight this. We go higher, the sky is darker, and you can see the shading of the Death Star now. A little bit better than it was in Unity and all that, but, but when we get to 60 kilometers, it vanishes. And basically, it's we're out of the range of the bubble that Kerbal Constructs, this sort of local zone for, for things in Kerbal Constructs. Now, the terrain there, the Cape Canaveral HD terrain is still there. That's not a Kerbal Constructs thing. That's a city thing. That's a Copernicus thing. So that's different. And maybe I'll try to turn the Death Star into a Copernicus thing, but I still think we wouldn't be able to see it past the atmosphere. Because those things are all landscape features that exist inside the atmosphere. So I tried to convince Scribble Constructs to create a new local zone out here. Uh, that didn't work out very well. So that's the situation. That is as far as I got trying to put the Death Star into Kerbal Space Program. And that was uh, that's somewhat of a disappointment, but it was going to be a rough, rough idea in the first place. So anyway, as I continue messing around with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.